The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find cases in Westlaw. We will focus on finding cases using the Law School tab and the directory. Let's first look at how to find cases by citation. You can accomplish this by using the Find by Citation box located on the left side of the screen. Simply enter your case citation, click Go, and your case will appear. You can also use the Find in Print function located at the top of the screen to find by citation or to find a case by party name. Now let's look at how to find cases using the search box on the Law School tab. Before you can run a search, you must select a database or multiple databases from the Cases box. The databases are organized by court and jurisdiction, and you can view all of the jurisdictions by clicking on Show All. Once you have selected a single or multiple jurisdictions, you can then run a search using terms and connectors or natural language. Let's try to find a case pertaining to adverse possession involving a fence. First we enter in our terms, hit search, and a list of results will appear. We can further narrow this list of results by keywords using locate in result. You can also select a single database from the ones listed in the cases box by selecting its database identifier. From there you can also run a search by terms and connectors or natural language. Now let's use the directory to find cases. You can use the directory to find cases by jurisdiction or by topic. By jurisdiction you can find cases using either US federal materials or US state materials. Because both are very similar Let's look only at Federal Materials. To access Cases, you would click on Cases under Federal Materials, and a list of databases and folders would appear. Generally, databases listed at the top will be combined databases, pulling cases from across several different databases, such as All Federal Cases and All Federal and State Cases. You can select a specific jurisdiction or court by using the folders. For example, if I'm looking for just Second Circuit Court of Appeals cases, I would click on Court of Appeals cases by circuit, and then the Second Circuit. That will bring you to the search screen where you can search by terms and connectors or natural language. You can also find case databases by topic. First, click on Topical Practice Areas to get a full list of topics. Then select a topic. In this case, we will select Animal Law and then Animal Law Cases. Depending on your topic, the number of databases and folders may vary, but the basic layout should be the same. Now let's review what a case looks like in Westlaw. The caption is located at the top of the case and includes information on the case citation, the party names, docket number, and the date it was decided. For some cases you will also find a link at the top of the screen to the original image of the case as it appeared in print. Below the caption you will find background on the case giving you procedural history, limited facts, and the court's holding. Next you will find the headnotes. We will not discuss them in depth right now, but you should know that they summarize points of law within the case. The number of headnotes will vary based on the length of the case and the number of legal issues. You can jump down to the portion of the case that discusses a particular issue by clicking on the headnote number. Following the headnotes you will find the syllabus, which is not a part of the opinion, but does provide a quick reference to the facts of the case and the holding. After the syllabus you will find the attorneys in the case. Finally you will come to the opinion. At the beginning of the opinion you will find which justice or justices authored the opinion. Throughout the opinion you will notice purple numbers with stars. This is the pagination for the case. If you see a number with one star, it corresponds to the official reporter which in this case is the United States reports. If you see a number with two stars, it corresponds to the unofficial West reporter, which in this case is the Supreme Court reporter. The page numbers apply to the text that appears after the number. You should also see that cases, statutes, and other legal materials will be hyperlinked so that you can access them instantly. The last two things to point out are the parallel citations, which are located at the end of the opinion, and the key site functions, which are located on the left side of the screen. That is it for accessing cases in Westlaw.